Greetings, Android users. This is Reverend Kyle, your Minister of Mobile Devices. And I'm here with my HP touchpad, and I'm going to show you a, uh, a very nice uh, piece of software that has been updated recently. Uh, the Team Win, uh, the folks over at the Team Win group, have come out with a new version of uh, Twerp, which, uh, if you're not familiar with Twerp, is their version of uh, recovery. So, depending on uh, your device, Device. Uh, they support uh, numerous devices. Uh, the Twerp software is available for your device as a recovery uh, module, uh, bootloader, uh, uh, clockwork mod. Uh, there, there's several of them out there. Twerp is, uh, seems to be the one right now that is supporting the most devices. So uh, we're going to take a look at the new version. Uh, it is version 2.2.0. And uh, we're going to go over a couple of the new features. Uh, I'm in my uh, MoBoot screen here on my HP touchpad, uh, which is basically a menu that lets me choose what I'm going to boot into. And I'm going to go ahead and boot into Twerp and we'll take a look at the new features and see uh, what we're going to get out of this new version. Now those of you who are already running Twerp, you're aware that it is installed from an app that you download from the Play Store. It is called Goo Manager. Uh, Goo Manager is um, uh, it gives you the ability to go out and download items from the Goo servers, uh, new ROMs, nightlies, if that's uh, if that's what you're into. And so the uh, Goo Manager will uh, allow you to install this as you've installed previous versions of Twerp. So here we are in the new version Twerp. Uh, I am running a developer build right now, so uh, it's gonna it's gonna have a slightly different version, but the uh, end result version is going to be 2.2.0. Uh, so let's take a look at some of the new features. Uh, some of it is behind the scenes, things that you won't notice right off the top. Uh, some of the things that you see um, in your twerp for your device will be different than what you'll see here. Uh, some of the features are dependent on the device itself. So for example, one of the new features here uh, in the new 2.2 is uh, the ability to use uh, both the internal and the external storage. Uh, when you're doing a backup or restore. So if I were to go into backup right now on my device, uh, I don't actually have the option to choose uh, whether I'm going to do that backup to the internal or the external because, well, the HP Touchpad doesn't have an external and SD slot. But if it did, then you would see that as an option here. All the other features that you uh, have come to know and love in Twerp uh, exist. The, the swipe to confirm uh, for all of the different screens uh, is still there, and that's very nice. Uh, on this screen, while we're in the backup here, you'll notice another good feature, which is the ability to uh, create or change the name of a backup uh, before you actually do it. So if I wanted to make a backup of my uh, boot, uh, section. I could actually go in here and set the backup name and while we're here, uh, you'll notice uh, another new unique feature for the Twerp. Uh, seeing as how Twerp is based solely on the fact that not all of your devices have hardware buttons, uh, it, it makes it a challenge on some devices. I know the Kindle Fire basically has a power button and that's it. Uh, if you need to type something into Twerp, how do you do that? Well, they've resolved that and this is another new big fun feature, which is the advent of a keyboard. So this on-screen keyboard will allow me to name my backup and I'll just go ahead and name it uh, well, let's just go ahead and name it Bob and you'll see that the keyboard is responsive and I'm gonna hit enter uh, a backup with that name already exists well uh, let's see we'll just call it um, we'll just call it uh, well looks like I missed it here we'll call it Rob I'm not as big of a fan of that name but we'll go ahead and put that in there and then I'll swipe to backup and you'll notice the uh, usual screen showing you what's going on and uh, it did a backup for me. Okay, so the same with, um, and I'll go up to the home button up here. Same with the restore. Uh, if you have a device that has uh, dual storage, then you'll know that that'll uh, also show up in the restore function. Um, in, in some respects, uh, if you're doing a backup and the backup is uh, larger than two gigabytes, um, that presents a challenge for you with uh, 
uh, with twerp. Uh, no longer is that the case. Uh, this new version of twerp will allow larger uh, backups than larger than two gigabytes. Uh, they've they've found a way around that uh, where it will split it into multiple files. So that's definitely another good feature. Uh, like I said, a lot of the other features are um, kind of behind the scenes. They've done some updating to the uh, you know the XML layout, and so you know different resolution screens are going to see it uh, much better uh, than in the past. Um, you know, just looking at other things, uh, they've updated their code and there's some bug fixes and whatnot. Um, if you have a Galaxy Nexus and uh, you have an encrypted data partition and you're going to want to uh, try to restore that, um, well, it, again, it's been a challenge because you haven't had a way to type in a uh, password and whatnot. So that is now available with that keyboard function that they've added, which I think is fantastic. Let's also take a look inside the advanced uh, section here. You'll also notice that there is a terminal command. This is very cool. Uh, it gives you an option to choose which direction you're going to start the terminal command. I'll just go to root and select folder. I am now in a terminal and uh, I can go ahead and do simple basic commands like I'll just do uh, see what directory I'm in. Here's a list of the files in the directory. Now you'll notice that my command actually stayed in the line here. Uh, that is uh, one of the developers chose that as a function but uh, don't worry about that. You won't have to delete anything. If I were to uh, type a big line of gibberish and go oh what did I need that for? A simple swipe to the left uh, if I can do it, there you go. Uh, we'll get rid of that line and give you a, a blank line. So again, this is, uh, this is something very cool that they've added that makes this uh, software a lot more comprehensive and gives us a lot more features. Uh, you'll notice that there are th this keyboard is very familiar looking. There are buttons uh, that don't do anything. Uh, the, the option for voice command has not been implemented yet. Uh, so like I said, this is uh, definitely something that you're going to want to use if you are a twerp user uh, or thinking about twerp. This is definitely the time to upgrade. You definitely want to get in on this uh, as soon as you can. Um, once this is available, uh, which should be uh, very soon, if not already, depending on when you're watching this video, uh, you will basically be able to go into your Goo Manager and uh, you'll install it just like you did previously. I'm going to uh, go into Goo Manager and show you exactly how that works. Okay, so I'm here at my uh, back into uh, Cyanogen Mod uh, 9, and uh, I'm going to go in here onto my touchpad, and I'm going to go into Goo Manager. Now, again, uh, if you're not familiar with Goo Manager, this is something that you definitely have to have uh, if your device is supported for it. This is the quickest and easiest and most reliable way to make sure that you are keeping up to date on all of the good stuff that's available, and uh, it takes you straight to the Goo manager uh, or the goo servers to get the stuff uh, so this is this is my goo manager and, I, and I'll show you it's very simple how to install the uh, new version of twerp or for the first time if it is uh, up in the top right hand corner you'll notice uh, the menu button and there is install open recovery script now if you hit that are you sure you'd like to do this? This will download and write a recovery image to your device. Now, uh, I'm not going to say yes to this because, quite frankly, I, I the old version, at the time that I made this video, the old version was still out there. I have the new version installed. By the time you see this video, you will want to say yes to this and you'll get the new version. So it'll all be fantastic for you. So I would encourage you to say yes to this. And uh, if you do get any other pop-ups uh, in Goo Manager while you're trying to install this and it says, oh, I need permissions, please allow it. Uh, if it says, okay, it couldn't do it, or if for some reason it didn't install it the first time, try, try again. So just go back in and do it. It again. So that's how easy it is. Uh, so if you're watching this video and you say, hey, I'd really like to have that new version of Twerp, uh, then go into your Goo Manager and your Android and uh, jump up here to the corner, install Open Recovery Script, and you will be off to the races. It will download the new version of it and install it for you. So I'm hoping that all of you find this as valuable as I do. Uh, the, the Team Win group has been uh, very diligent in uh, uh, touching on things that there are are 
prominent on these devices, things that need to be addressed in terms of open recovery. Uh, and like I said, they, they've been very responsive, and I think they do a fantastic job. So thank the guys at Team Win if you see them. Uh, and uh, again, if you have any questions with this, uh, don't be afraid to go to my uh, website. is www.reverendkyle.com and check out my forums. You can definitely go in there and drop me a line. Uh, I answer questions. There's a lot of uh, really intelligent people in there who are also answering questions. So this has been Reverend Kyle, your Minister of Mobile Devices, showing you the new version of Twerp, version 2.2.